Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek over my shoulder as I play Neo Feud. And this is the second episode I have I have managed to get through the first area of the game or like I have managed to get into my office proper. Snow-capped paperwork mountains. A government standard filing cabinet. We. Papers, tissue box. Can you shake one? Yoink! Oh, what do you mean gotta work? Oh. Jobs age Christ. Mountains. Goddamn Everests of triplicate paperwork. It's the tyranny of bureaucracy writ large. Sometimes I think I must be stuck in a Terry Gilliam movie. Well, I better get started. Can you use tape? So that's where my screwdriver was, buried under the blizzard. Take it. No, wait, can't, why can't I take the screwdriver? I bet it would be super handy. Okay. These papers then? Pause. Aww. That's me, my ex-wife Jewel, and little Joey. This was ages ago, before I got kicked off the force. Can I examine it further? No. Burnt a lot of bridges, didn't you, Mr. Carbon? You can't go home again. Oh right, his name is Carl Carbon, oh, hey. not Bingo. Carl Bourbon. Is that stupid olive oil? Oh, he already picked up the screwdriver. Okay, never mind. Pencil, screwdriver, olive oil. Are we gonna blow shit up? I'm gonna check uh, the different cabinets just in case. Okay. have a pen. It's right there in your inventory. <laughs> Are his hair literally getting longer? as he slaves away. <laughs> Carbon, why the hell don't you answer your communicator? <laughs> Are you sleeping on the clock again? I need those reports done yesterday. Uh, no, no, sir. I mean, uh, yes, sir. I was uh, working. I was just uh, finishing up the last TPS report, Mr. Shuffler. Oh, and don't forget, you've got to get out to see your favorite delinquent robot kid today. What's his name? <laughs> Johnny Silica? Yeah, right. He was MIA at his parole hearings, counseling sessions, night classes. Got picked up yesterday for assaulting a robotic police officer. Son of a bitch. Gang banging with the Robo Ballers or the Chrome Boys again. I mean, uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> the boy's a real loose cannon. He's your loose cannon, Carbon. You're his social worker, so socialize him. 
He's a humanoid, and you're practically half toaster yourself with that vintage mech arm. Be a father figure or some shit. I'll do my best, sir. Can I ask if my fund request for a new cyber arm went through? The actuators are shorting out on this one, and it almost caused a car cry. Uh, I mean, it's hurting my productivity. <laughs> oh, denied, Carbon. Budget Crunch has a Coastlandia city in a tight spot. Last time I checked, you're a goddamn ex-cop pariah, dishonorably discharged, lucky to have a meal ticket and a roof above your head. My roof is a piece of corrugated polycarbon, sir, and it leaks. Hey, didn't the city report a $50 billion surplus last fiscal quarter? That was before the tax cuts, the subsidies for hypertech, and the rest was used for that new country club arcology. Whee! Tough nails, Tin Man. Just handle your client. Yes, sir. What an asshead. How can I examine the monitor? Okay. Save. I suppose I get to take all of this with me. Can I charge my taser? Nope. Anything else? Roaches? Tissues? Are we going? Pencil pushing has got my arm actuators all flared up. I better find a Sonic screwdriver and get this damn thing tuned up, or I'll be six feet under triplicate documents soon. I'll need some olive oil too. I know it's around her somewhere. Can I, can I, can I put it away, please? I just want to put it away. Okay. Why do you have game controls on your arm? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Easy now. Ah, so I don't need to... I don't need to take all the screws at the time, or, or do I? I think I do. Where are you putting them? You know, you need to put loose screws in a small container, otherwise you're going to lose them. Can I put the hand away, please? I'm a little bit confused how the switching how uh, how the switching between doodads is happening like I'm trying right click and, and left click and I'm not sure okay oh okay maybe click outside the area like outside the area seems to be doing it.
then. Exterior. I got an address, uh, 306 Sunrise Apartments. Yeah, this is one of those mixed species, mixed income community building places. Thing is, community ain't exactly building according to code <laughs> here. It looks like a cross between the projects, a Rio Favela, and Burning Man. Uh, I don't see any room numbers, no directories, not even a single listing on cheapartments.com. This place is totally off grid. Well, better start asking around. Pounding pavement or pounding particle board. First, let's take a look around. take the stairs first. I don't know parkour and if I herniate a disc or break a leg trying an action hero stunt, I'm too low on the Coastlandia government totem pole to qualify for workers comp. Anything else to look at? Ooh! Artsy! Oh, that's, that's the kid we're looking for. Hey, anybody home? Nothing. How far can I go? Okay. This is about the l limit. Boop, 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 boop. Um. Will I be able to go up here? Oh, okay, I guess not. Can we talk to Grandma? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I am trying. Oh, okay, maybe I need to use the hand icon to Hello? go upstairs. Hello? Nothing. Yeah, okay, I think I got it. So, like this? Yeah. Hello? Good morning, ma'am. I'm Carl Carbon, looking for Todd and Suzette Silica. Do you know them by any chance? Todd and Suzette? They're foster parents. Their kid's name is Johnny, Johnny Silica. Todd and Suzette and Johnny. Yeah, I knows them. What you want with him? <laughs> I'm Johnny's social worker, Carl. I'm here to check up on him. So you another one of them CPS fascist bastards come down from your big fancy floating city to kidnap some kids from some <laughs> poor groundling family in the pile? No, no ma'am. I'm just here to... Do your job, yeah, I know. We's all got a job to do, ain't we, Mr. Carbon? Keep your blinders on, keep your head down, get by. So, can you tell me where Johnny is? Tell you what, you see that power meter up there? Ma'am, uh, I don't understand what this has to do with... Would you stop mamming me? Most <laughs> folks around here call me Grandma Lucy, but Mrs. Lucy will do. And I said... Do you or do you not see that metal box? Uh, yeah. That's Coastlandia City's power meter, locked shut. Okay. You get that box open, hack the smart grid thingy, so as we can get free electricity. Do it, and then I'll think about informing you as to Todd and Suzette's whereabouts, sir. You have a cart. It's just a matter of breaking into the box and hot-wiring it. 
why don't one of you tenants just take a pair of bow cutters up there and do it yourself? We would, but the smart grid just means that it knows when someone who ain't supposed to be fiddling with it is. Garcia tried last week and the box sent a bazillion volts of electro juice straight through his chassis. Chicken fried his circuit boards and he fell four stories, broke into a dozen burnt pieces on the methane well down below. Bless his soul. We recovered what was left of his soul drive, his consciousness, on a flash stick, but he's literally half the robot he <laughs> used to be. Sounds like breaking into that box is signing your own death warrant. Lady, I ain't that desperate. Thing is, you, Mr. Carbon, have Coastlandia government ID. The smart grid is smart, but not that smart. You put in your ID, it'd be thinking you on official business. Except... If anyone calls up the history on that power meter, they'll find my Gov ID as the most recent access. I'm not big on prison. When you hack the box, it should delete the history. <laughs> Theoretically. It is a risk, no doubt. But it should be no sweat for a scruffy Denzel Washington looking cop like yourself. Hey, hey, I am not <laughs> scruffy. That's a bit of an cop, overstatement. <laughs> if you say so. <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice, huh? Lucky me. Lucky you, Mr. Social Worker. You get a chance to actually help those in need, like your mandates say. Your blackmail skills were all the inspiration I needed. <laughs> Bye. Oh, one more thing. This here is Garcia's hack chip. You'll need to take out the one inside the power box and replace it with this. A little melted around the edges from when the anti-tampering mechanism cooked him. But it should fit just fine. <laughs> Power! Okay, I want to see this. That looks suspiciously like uh, like a game cartridge. goes downstairs. Oh, okay. I don't def I don't need that icon. Uh, this ramp. It seems that I need to go through the building. Or can I? Yeah, because if I click here, it's going to take me downstairs. Is he going to go up? Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, I better take this. I just click upstairs. Uh. Upstairs, go upstairs. Uh, do I need to go through somewhere? Okay, yeah, I need to go up there first. Never mind. Uh. If I click here, will he go... Oh, okay, he goes more upstairs, so like up upstairs. Okay. Dun 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 Okay, so Ha huh. a glass window. That's pretty stupid for a genius box. About as smart as a convertible space car. 
Uh, better not. The last guy got fresh with an Energenius box got his ass electrofried. And I ain't looking to win the Darwin Awards. You have already procreated, you can't win the Darwin Awards. So is this meter enclosure? What else do we have here? Is there like a card slot? Oh, okay. Card reader. Boop boop. Looks like my card worked, but the mag locks aren't disengaging. Guess I'll have to MacGyver my way in there. So what do we have? We have a letter opener. Why not? Oh, mag lock. Okay. But you don't have the do that to, to, to do the actual torching. Ah, okay, so basically we need to find the components before we can do something with it. Uh, let's save. Ancient crimson, huh? What else do we have here? The satellite dish seems to have a life of its own too. Door. Hey, anybody home? Nothing. What about this one? Hey, anybody home? Nothing. Hey. Okay. Nothing. So let's go one one level downstairs. Talk to grandma. Maybe she has. Ah, oh, I think she has that oxygen here. Looks like a portable tank of medical grade oxygen. And she's smoking, so... Uh, hello? Bye. So can I just take it? That's, that's awfully rude. Excuse me? That'd be my happy guess there. What you want with it? I'm out of O2 for my OxyZef blowtorch. I need 99.995% pure oxygen, and you've got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I better not catch you huffing that oat. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, bloop. So, what about the spark? She would... Uh, he would need to... Ooh! Juicy! He would need to use the taser. What else do you need? Ah, okay. Let's, let's ask for her cigarette. So you want Hey, we was harvesting our own sun juice from the sky with solar chrome trees. We was self-sustainable, 100% renewable. Then the city department of assholes come down tell us, sorry, those trees pose fall hazards. The wrecking crews come through, chop them down every week. Believe me, I know the city can be shady. But you ever think maybe they got the regulations genuinely for your own safety? Uh, a few thousand pounds of metalloplastic organism growing on top your roof could easily take down one of these organically constructed mashup buildings. I believe that, except when Coastlandia couldn't prove the hazard rate. Then the next week the bureaucrats call the trees gray goo dangers <laughs> and xenomorphic illegal species. Truth is, they just want us gone. Bottom line, 
We didn't ask for the grid. We don't want the high city's electricity. We don't want nothing from that corrupt Babylon. But they install the meters anyway. Charge exorbitant rates we can't afford for juice we could have been providing for our own selves. So you tell me, Mr. G-Man, should we choose between feeding our kids and baby bots and having lights in our homes? That sound fair to you? Bye. Okay, so I can't actually ask for her cigarette. Can I? Grandma tank. I mean, she was smoking, wasn't she? Oh, it's the kid who's smoking. Never mind. Um. Uh. Okay, this this town. This downstairs. Hello. Oh. And I can't interact with the cigarette on its own. Darn it. Upstairs, first flight upstairs. And can I go here? Oh, oh, okay. So this roof is a little bit forward. Examine. Lighter here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Okay, so only the first three buttons have any memory done to them. Really, are we above it now? Okay, so I'm guessing at some point we need to recognize it too. Then, can I hit? But not now. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, what else do we have here? Radio. I guess no cigarette lighter. the same kid who is on your monitor
You know these are illegal to smoke for more than 15 seconds or 2.15 milligrams of nicotinoid, right? You and I, man, flack off, dog. You tripping <laughs> on my flow, showed on my circus and shit. Why the hell does everyone think I'm a cop? Am I wearing a name tag that says, Hi, I'm your friendly plainclothes police officer? Nah, nah, bro. You, you just straight reeking of that Bruce Willis vibe. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Mad gruff voice, bedraggled, receding hairline and shit. Coming all the time like some motherfucker just spin inside your brown bag bottle of vodka that you drinking because you's a brooding alcoholic. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm still gonna need that cigarette, kid. Oh, hell no. I straight up blew my entire paycheck at the arcade just to get this motherfucking medical regulator hack. Hey, I'm a cop, remember? <laughs> Maybe I'm behind on my robo thug gangbanger arrest quota. Maybe I report your hacking of cigarette AI and illegal cancer inducing levels of cigarette consumption. LMAO, dog. That be your best blackmail? Really? One, I be all Metallica up inside my respirators. So I can't catch no black lung canker shit. And B, them dwanky coastlandia government don't give two cyber shits if we robos get AIDS and die. Or, or, or whatever. Less mouths to feed, less batteries to charge. You got a big mouth on you for a ghetto bot boy. I'll give you that. Smart ass. You could just say that you need uh, the shit for. Oh, oh, oh. Could buy some what? Ooh! No, I didn't mean to do that. I just. Uh, I wanted to check up my quote unquote library. Unidentified. If it's interesting, why can't I pick it up? Grandma, she will probably have a better idea. Oh, okay. I haven't looked at this, this side of the wall yet. Circle jink. Hello, anybody home? No dice. Hello, Can't anybody? This Shh. No dice. Easy there. What else do we have here? Young junk hand thing. Okay. Hello. 
I'm still gonna need that cigarette, kid. Popo, you got bugs up in your meat brains? As I already told you, no. Well, son, see, I got this big fat vial of mythium. Really goddamn illegal mythium narcotics. Mythium that you just tried to hustle to me, a cop, because you're just that flacking stupid. The judge will buy the stupid angle, too. <laughs> and since you're a minority species robot in the drug war 2.0, automatic conviction. Y you can't. Can't what? Hey, maybe I plant the powder in your underwear with my anti-robot taser. You flacking son of a... Just try me, playa. If I'm tripping up your swag, <laughs> no one will miss another wannabe toaster gangbanger. Just try me. Give me an excuse to short those idiotic circuits of yours. Ah, flag. Fine, Popo. Take the flag and say it. Thanks. And remember, kid, winners don't use drugs. Ah, I forgot to ask why, why he's... Oh, and, uh, stay in school. <laughs> I forgot to ask why, why he's even smoking in the first place. Oh, Damn it. that's nice. Thank Jobs for unfettered abuse of power. Okay. Oh, okay. Why the hell are you smoking anyway? You're silicon and chrome. You ain't got lungs or any meatware to get a buzz. You old whack honky. Smoking be straight up about flexing that badass style. Don't you <laughs> see how cool I look? Okay. Never mind. Taste some more. Oh, okay. So, do I get something more out of the? Okay, never mind. Let's save. Smurt. Okay, so do I need to combine some shit? Or did they already combine it? Oh wait, 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 this ain't right. I still have this in my inventory and I don't have the cigarette or the... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I believe I found a bug. I think it's because I talked to the kid again. So... Chris, if you're watching this, I have found a bug. Or, well, not, not a bug, but an unwanted feature. Except now the kid doesn't have cigarette either. Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 I don't have... Oh, no. Duh. Okay. So... I forgot to scroll. I was ignoring the arrows. I mean, the kid's obviously grumpy, so grumpy as somebody who lost their cool cigarette. Huh? This is sticky. Do I need duct tape or something? Gum would have used. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to that wall because. D 
duct tape. Can I use some duct tape, please? Nope. Okay, I guess not. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Oxy's acetylene torch is working, burning hot enough to cut tungsten. Okay, so you torch, torch the lock. Swoosh! <laughs> AG. Okay, okay. Do I need to, I don't know, reseal it with a card or something? I guess it worked. So let's go downstairs here. Talk to Grandma. It's done. You've got free energy until Coastlandia runs out, or they figure you're stealing power from the grid and toss you into a recycle bin. Well, I gotta say, we all sure is grateful. Okay, now about the silicas. As much as the goodwill of your favela tenants is appreciated, I'd appreciate keeping my job even more. Oh yes, yes of course. The silicas unit is at the end of this level. The door set into the gray Toyunde car's body. They had to rebuild that section after the accident. Well, I'll let them tell you. Anyway, if you look in the dashboard of the car, there's an old school radio in there with tape deck, station memory. Hit the sequence six, seven, eight, seven, five, one. That's the all clear code for the silicas. They won't come out otherwise. There was another cop came by looking for Johnny. But he wasn't up to no good. <laughs> Had the devil's look about him. Why didn't you tell me about this earlier? We wasn't sure you wasn't another boogeyman of Babylon, Mr. Carbon. But since you done risked your high city slicker bureaucrat net for us, <laughs> now we know we can trust you. You understand. Sure, I guess. Well, thanks for the tip, Grandma. Remember, six, seven, eight, seven, five, one. Okay, I will immediately forget it, so let's try to get this done. Pass, 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 six, seven, eight. Radio, give me the radio. Uh, was it six, seven, eight? Soft tune. Five, one, seven. Nope. I don't think that was it. I already forgot. Shit. Give me the code again. I need to write this down because I can't memorize shit. Six seven eight seven five one. Okay, I had some of it wrong. Ah, uh, pencil. No, I need a pencil. Shit. Six seven eight seven five one. Okay. It's 
done. Well, I got. Oh, oh yeah. Anyway, that's the. Why didn't you tell? We wasn't sure. Remember. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is Carl Carbon from Sentient Services. I'm looking for Tata and Suzette Silica. Is this their residence? Oh, so sorry, Mr. Carbon. Yes, this is Suzette speaking. Shit, Todd, get the hell up! It's Johnny's social worker. <laughs> what the fuck, Suzette? I thought the CPS inspection thing wasn't for another week. Don't blame this shit on me. Get Johnny up and get his ass out here. Johnny! Hey! Where the hell is that kid? Ah, uh, be right there, Mr. Carbon. Go ahead and come to the metal door inside the body of that car there on your left. That blood wasn't here before. Oh, and the kid is gone. Uh, hello? Mr. and Mrs. Silica? This has to be the door. Where the hell are they? What's this? Blood? Was this here before? I don't remember blood on the door before. Mr. and Mrs. Silica? Sorry, sorry, Mr. Carbon. We'll be right there. Ooh, Terminator milk reference. Oh, Flack, an exterminator. <laughs> Hello. Hey, whoa, relax, man. I'm Todd Silica. I live here. Well, where's Suzette? Why is there flacking blood all over your door? Just chill out, brother. Sir? Look, Suzette is right in here. I don't know about no blood. Ah, <sighs> what the hell took you people so long? Hey, I'm sorry, man. We were just, uh, trying to chatty up a bit. <laughs> sorry. Ah, <sighs> jobs Christ. Okay, sorry, Mr. Silica. Let's start over. I'm Carl Carbon, a social worker from Sentient Services. We received a call today regarding your children, and I wanted to come in and talk to you and your wife about it. Is that okay? Uh, okay. We don't have no problems here. Be my guest. Good afternoon, Mr. Carbon. Nice <laughs> to see you. Please. Carl is fine. May I come in? Of course, make yourself at home. Welcome, uh, sir. Sorry if you had a hell of a time finding us. Language, Todd? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Carbon. We've had we've had some unwanted guests coming by of late. Is that so? What sort of characters have been coming by? We ain't quite sure to be honest. But we came home to a cracked window and broken locks the other day. Could be just some local hoodlums. Well, that's understandable. This dive isn't exactly the Hamptons, is it? Uh, sorry. What what I mean is, better safe than sorry. Go away! Did you call the police? Well, yes, we did, although they, uh... They what? Well, they telepresenced in with one of them remote-controlled robocops. Didn't really do much investigating. Police don't really put a lot of effort into the low city, uh, under-resourced areas like these. I see. I just installed our new door. <laughs> Cut it off a crashed space station in the junk pile. Four-inch durithium. Real secure. 
Todd salvaged it off a very hmm. abandoned craft, all very legal-like. Yes, we're real concerned about the safety of our family, ain't we, Todd? Yes, ma'am, we are. All right. Do you mind if I have a look around, Mr. and Mrs. Silica? <laughs> of course. We got nothing to hide. Okay. Save. And since this proves to be a, a new and shiny area with all sorts of doodads, I. Oh, mold as in for casting, not as in for growing. Uh, so I'm going to end this episode here and uh, leave all that shiny, shiny exploring for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Check out Neo Feud on Steam Greenlight. Also vote for it in GOG New Games Fingy. Bye!